Hey there guys, in this video we'll be building a amazing chat UI using Jetpack Compose in Android Studio. So what is the pathway while building it? So first we'll be having a look at how to create a new Jetpack Compose project and then we'll be looking at the chat UI and differentiating each and every section, each and every component of it so that we could see and have a look at how does the code work in the background and also we'll be looking at few of the fundamentals in the Jetpack Compose which is new for us. So let's get started. So right here if you see there is our own Jetpack Compose UI for chat UI and then this is for differentiate all the views according to us so that we can differentiate all the components inside the UI and we can create the views for it particularly. So right here if you see this particular section is an app bar. Inside the app bar I've used this as a row. So in how does the row work? I'll explain you in later further. And this particular section of the text is a column. So where we have added two text views and there is two elements inside the row. First is image, second is column. So it I C and this whole thing is app bar. AV. And after looking at the chat bubbles, if you if you have noticed it, the color is different and their alignment is different. Other than that, there is nothing more much difference than that. So there, there will be just one method for this and we have to use is out as a variable so that we could know if the message is going outside or it is incoming. So if the message is outgoing, then we'll use this particular bubble and if the message is incoming then we'll use this particular bubble and it will be aligned to the start and the outgoing one at the end and after that if you have a look at this particular bottom card it consists of just one ui element one view which is outline text field this outline text field has one trailing icon this particular training trailing icon will help us to send the message outside to a particular endpoint which we have specified so this was a quick overview and differentiating all the components and there's one more thing i would like to show is the this whole particular section i selected right now is a lazy column what is a lazy column i'll get back to that a little further where i'm going to explain the code right away so let's now have a look at the code and understand how it works so that you could build it yourself and i would really like to see your projects and your ui in the discord server you can share the image in any place you want any of the channel it's it's just free for you so yeah uh, let me clear the screen and head back to the cursor so right here if you look at the main activity right here i have added main screen the main screen function works as there's a column which has fill max size which fills the complete size of this particular phone a physical phone and there is vertical arrangement which has space in between so in the vertical arrangement there needs to be a space or else all the views will be stick together after that we are adding the top bar section in the top bar section if you look there are three variables three parameters which i have passed First one is the username, which is bot. You can specify any of it you want. It depends on, on the project itself. So this is just the UI. So I just use it hard coded. Then there is profile. So in the profile, this consists of an image. So this image is present right here in the drawable. So I've used painter resource, which fetches from the drawable folder. And then there is is online. So this particular section is online has been already shown how to check if the user is online or not by the checking the connectivity state. If you haven't seen the video, uh, it will be right above on the right hand side. After that, we'll have a look at the top bar section. Inside the top bar section, I used card. This card view consists of fill max width. So it will fill complete max width. And then there is height which is a default height for any app bar if you have seen i added a background color which is almost white then there is elevation as 4dp which has some shadow so that it looks like it is an app bar instead of 
just a simple card view inside there i have used the row so inside the row uh, there is padding as horizontal for 8dp so there is horizontal padding and the all the views doesn't stick together like this and i use fill max size so that there is no issue with the sizing and the vertical alignment will be center vertically so it will be in the middle of the whole view so right here not horizontally then there is image so inside the image we are directly adding the painter resource and obviously the content description there needs to be a content description so that use uh, anyone while looking at the code they should know what particular image has been added so i have added change it from null to profile image or any content description you want which is a reasonable one and then there is i used modifier modifier provides us the size i have used a hard coded one which is 42 dp you can use as per your need then there is clip to circle shape so if you if i hadn't used the clipping part it will have just kept it as square but this is a profile picture so in the current trend it needs to be a circle one so it looks good you can also define your own uh, shape by using rounded corner shape so this will round the corners as per the dp you added in here so if i add 10 dp so it will add 10 dp in there i'll just remove it and replace it with the circle shape as per that you get the roundness inside that particular view i'll change it to circle shape again and then there is spacer so i have for the horizontal alignment i have to provide some width as a spacer so there will be space in between two views then there is column inside the column i have used two text views inside the text view i have added in the first one is the username which is currently a bot and then there is font weight you can directly use the font weight as semi bold or bold etc etc whichever you want to and inside the second text which provides the information if the user or the bot is online or not it has been provided by the is online variable if it's online then it will show online or else it will show directly the offline and i specified hard coded font size at 12 sp so this was the part where we are understanding the top bar section and after that there is chat section where the whole chat bubbles are there so in the chat section i have added a lazy column which consists of all the messages i have provided it so if we have a look at message dummy this message dummy consists of all the hard coded messages i have added mm -hmm. by using the message class so there are currently four messages if you see and here there are only four messages so let me go again to the chat section yeah so the lazy column helps us to show the whole list as a, inside the column so we don't have to use any kind of for loop or while loop for showing all the list of the messages we have the modifier i have used is for max size and adding the padding as 16 dp so there is no issue with the with the views getting stuck together for the layout I've used the reverse layout because so whenever there is any message arriving it will be as a stack so every message will be at the new message will be at the top so it needs for the view it needs to be at the bottom so it will go from here to here the whole list will be reversed and the latest message will be right here and the message item is a, another function which shows the message bubbles like this and let's have a look at what we are getting inside the message item is message text which is obviously a string but i have used it as nullable because when a message item has been provided it could be a image or it could be a video or a sticker in the future part we'll be adding some more functionality into it then other thing is the time time will we are using the simple date format and the chat dot time so inside inside the message class if i visit the message class i'm using calendar instant and getting the time in milliseconds so by getting the time in milliseconds i'm changing it to simple date format and changing it into a particular hour minute and am pm format after that inside inside the message item we are looking at is out boolean so it is a boolean variable it, if the message has been outgoing then the it's a user message 
or else if it's an incoming then it's a bot message or the another user message you can see it like that and we'll as per that we'll be changing the horizontal alignment right here if the you if it's out then it will be at the end right here and if it is incoming then it is at the start after that we are also checking the nullability of the message text since we have added the string nullable also we are also checking that if it is not a blank message you can also check it via the is not empty you can also use this so you can do any ways you want and inside that i've used box so that i could have some coloring i could give it a shape in the modifier i'm using the background so i want to change the color as per the requirement so if it is outgoing then it needs to be the primary color which is purple and if it's outgoing then it needs to be the gray color almost gray color yeah and then the shape if it is outgoing then it needs to be another chat bubble shape which i have already specified here where the corner is been set as 0 dp so it looks like it's coming right here and it's for the ending part and for the start message which is of the bot it needs to be on the start section it needs to be zero so right here if you see the start is zero then all the places is 8 dp so then for the other part it is vice versa stand has been zero dp then there is padding so i have added different padding for different sections so for top and bottom it will be eight for start and end it will be 16 so you can specify vertical vertical and horizontal so for the start and end instead of using start and end you can directly use horizontal yes move this and vertical so by just two line you can specify both of them in some cases you might have to change the start padding or the top padding as per the requirement so i kept it all the, all of them as separate ones you can change it however you want to in the text i have added message text directly and the color is white there is no font or anything i have kept it here it will be all default one which is approx 16 sp or 18 sp in the text i have added time which is already provided right here in the parameters and then i have added a font size as 12 sp and padding from the start as 8 dp so right here that's what the part for the message item will look next for the message section inside the message section it consists of outline text field which is inside card view the card view is filling the whole width then there is a background color which is white and the elevation i kept it as 10 dp in the text field you can set the placeholder which is right here you can keep it as say whatever you want to like say anything like that inside i have kept it as message and it needs to be a text view you can't add a direct text inside this it's it won't work like that you have to provide some view after that there is value so inside the message value i have kept it as message dot value so what is the message dot value or the message variable this particular variable is present inside the chat screen which is a mutable state of so whenever user types something it will directly be stored letter by letter inside the mutable string and let's say let me show you something so if i type this it will directly be storing in real time inside that particular mutable state so whenever you click on the send button it will directly be captured right here and also on value change it will be changing it directly inside the message variable by whatever string the user has typed and for the shape i've used the uh, my custom shape which is round corner shape and i provided 25 dp you can see it's not completely rounded but it is a bit rounded on the corners for the trailing icon i have already one icon which is icon send i used that particular from the paint resource and also right here you should add a particular string for this i'll use it as send icon and make sure it is double inverted comma and not the inverted comma and for the tint i added primary color which is purple and for the clickable i already shown you how you can add 
the clickable functionality in the previous video I had. For the modifier, I have added to fill it the complete width and the padding will be 10 dp so there is a space in between right here. So this was the part where we are understanding how you can add a chat UI and a chatbot app theme. It will automatically suggest you there is no issue with that and then you can directly add main screen here. If you want, you can use that particular surface as this, 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 but it's on you as per the requirement. So I have added the surface color as the background so that it has been visible right here in the preview, but it's on you that if you want to use it or not. This particular surface color is provided by default when you create a new project via Jetpack Compose. So just you have to provide the main screen if you have anything else uh, like any arguments you have to provide that so this was the video explaining how to create your own chat ui if you really like this video you can click on the like button below and it really helps the youtube algorithm to suggest the videos to the viewers who are really in need of this all videos as you were and you got suggested and also make sure to click on the subscribe button so that you get all the notifications when the new video arrives and also there are multiple things that i'll be currently bringing out and also the giveaway stuffs and all so make sure to subscribe and join the discord server and if you have any doubts you can definitely add them in the comment section or you can directly add in the discord server where i'll be helping you one-on-one -on -one. if you have any doubts you can directly hop onto the voice channel and ask me thank you so much